In this lesson, we are going to create a TIA portal project that is going to contain a Siemens WinCC Unified Comfort Panel as well as a Siemens Unified PC Runtime application. So the first thing I'm going to do is select Create New Project. And then I'm going to give my project a name. It's going to be called HMI. And then I will select the Create button. This is going to create the project in TIA portal version 18. I am still in the portal view, but I switched to the first steps within the software, and then this gives me access to jump into different portals of the software. So the first thing I'm going to do is select configure a device. I don't have any devices in the project, but I am in the show all devices view, so this area is going to be empty. So I'm going to select add new device. And then this will present me with options of the different types of devices that I can add into the project. So I'm going to select the HMI category and expand out the Cymatic Unified Comfort Panel area. And then this is going to display all the sizes of the Unified Comfort Panels that are available. So currently they are available from 7 inch to 22 inch. For this lesson, we are going to use a 7 inch. So I will select the 7 inch display and select that part number. Then this is going to give me the option to be able to select which version of device that I want to configure. So this will define the capabilities of the device in the project. I'm going to select the Add button to add this device into my project. When the device is added in, I just accepted the default name, so it came in as HMI underscore one, but I'm going to rename it so I can right click on it and select the Rename option. I'm going to give it a name called Panel. So now my device is going to be called Panel, or my HMI device is called Panel. I'm still in the portal view, so, but I'm going to switch to the project view by selecting the link in the lower left-hand corner. This is going to switch my software into the project view. In the project tree, all of the devices that are configured in the project will show up bolded. So here I have an MTP700 Unified Comfort Panel that was just added into this project. When I hit the arrow next to the HMI device, it will expand out the HMI device and expose all the different editors that I could jump into to configure my HMI project. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to select the screens area. In the unified system, there will not be any screens added by default, but there's an add new screen option here. So I will select add new screen by double clicking on it. This is going to insert a screen into my application. My toolbox does show up on the right hand side and it's broken out into different categories. I like to switch the display so that I see the icons as well as the name of the objects when I insert objects you know, onto the screen. So under the elements area, I am going to select the button object. And then I'm going to drag this button object out onto the screen and put it in the lower right hand corner. I'm going to give it the text stop runtime. With that button selected, I will select the Events tab. And then under the Events tab, I have the ability to enter in you know, different events. So here is the Press event. So when this button is pressed during runtime, I would like to be able to stop the runtime software. So I will start typing the name of the function that I would like to select, and it's going to show me the Stop Runtime function. So I will add that to the press event of this button. The next thing that I'd like to do uh, when I add in a new HMI to the project is go to the runtime settings. When I open up the runtime settings, the first thing that I typically do is uncheck activate encrypted transfer. With this box checked, I would have to enter in a password each time I am going to download to the HMI. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to deactivate that option. In the screen area down below, you will actually see the screen resolution. And it defaults to the resolution of the HMI device that I selected. So you can pick different size screens if you'd like, but I'm going to use the default screen you know, at this point in time. 
The next thing that I'm going to do is minimize this MTP 700 Unified Comfort Panel. And then I would like to add in the PC Runtime application. So in the project tree, there's an option for Add New Device. So I will double click on Add New Device. This time, instead of selecting the HMI category, I will select the PC Systems category. In here, I could go into the Industrial PCs area and then go in and browse for some, a specific cymatic you know, IPC you know, part number. Or in my case, I would like to just do a generic white box PC. So I'll pick the PC General and select the PC Station. Then I will select the OK button. And this is going to add in a PC station to this project. Once the PC station is included in the project, the first thing that I would need to do is go under my hardware catalog and select the Cymatic HMI applications. And then what I would like to do is pick the Cymatic WinCC Unified PC type of application. It will highlight the location in the PC station where I can drop that item. So I will drag in the WinCC Unified PC station. So that will show up here. Then the next thing that I will do is under the general area and look at the catalog information. It came in as a version 18 because that's the version of software that I am using. The next thing I would want to do with the PC station is add in an Ethernet interface. So I will go into the communication modules profinet slash ethernet and pick the IE general to use the gen general ethernet adapter that is on the industrial PC. So when I select IE general, it highlights the location in the PC station where it can go. So I will drag the IE general in. And so now I have configured a semantic WinCC unified PC station with the application and the communication options. I will expand out the Somatic HMI, go to the screens area, and then again, there's not a screen defined in this device, so I will double click on Add New Screens. Okay. And now this will come in at a larger resolution because it's going to be for a PC. I can go into the runtime settings, and again, I can deactivate you know, encrypted transfer. And I could also select the type of screen resolution that I would like to set for this PC runtime application. So in this lesson, we inserted a WinCC MTP 700 Unified Comfort Panel and a Cymatic Unified PC Station.